After so much rumors we finally got a news regarding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 lineup. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra will give you only 2 megapixel modes in the camera. One is a full 200 megapixel resolution and the other is a pixel bin 12.5 megapixel resolution. There will not be a 50 megapixel mode like Xiaomi and Motorola provide with their 200 megapixel phones. Almost all of us are going to use the Pixel Bin 12.5 megapixel on the S23 Ultra, and some of us will take the full 200 megapixel resolution. We've got the first leak benchmark for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it's not only very impressive, but it also confirms that the inclusion of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, the Geekbench 5 listing shows a single core score of 1524, and then a multiple score of 4597 which is impressive and it actually beats the iPhone 14. In multi-core performance, iPhone have always been ahead in terms of synthetic benchmarks and it's nice to see Qualcomm making some headway. But there are a couple of important things to mention. For start the iPhone uses the previous chip the A15 as beating the iPhone Pro models which scored 1891, for single then 5469 for multi. We already know that the Galaxy S23 Ultra will have Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset which will bring significant upgrades and performance and efficiency compared to the S22 Ultra. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is also reported have the world's fastest RAM on any other phone. This new memory will allow even higher speeds to be achieved with minimal internal redesign. Its low power consumption high performance levels make it suitable for applications beyond smartphones in the market. So now we have a flagship chipset the fastest RAM and even more the best camera setup for upcoming flagship S23 Ultra. Samsung using optical stabilization so the lens moves to counteract any shake, but as the name suggests censorship stabilization is the movement of the actual sensor. The back camera lenses are actually slightly thicker than the S22 Ultra with two sensors. On the side now flushed in for an even cleaner look. The camera have changed slightly with the right hand side sensors that being flush with the rear panel whereas previously they were slightly extruded from the case. The metal frame is also slightly larger and there's less of the curve on the S23 Ultra. The new models grew by a fraction of a millimeter in height and weight and that came from extra bezels. To be specific 0.15 millimeter on all four sides around the display and the display size. So, without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, peace out.